Hello everybody, my name is Derek. I just finished my bachelor's degree in cybersecurity and information assurance at WGU. And I'm gonna talk about my experience and whether I think that's something someone trying to get into the industry should go ahead and do. So for starters, um, I already had a bachelor's degree in business administration and finance from an online school, Columbia Southern University that I got in about 2018. So when I enrolled at WGU, all the general ed was done. I also already had my Security Plus certificate from CompTIA. So that took care of another three courses when I enrolled, which was a nice uh, jump start to the program. All in all, I finished in 17 months, 17 and a half months uh, for the program. And that was with a three month break in between while I was moving. Um, I work a full time job at night. I have a two year old that I'm raising, so I'm very busy. Uh, I work. I did a lot of the school work during the day, uh, my nights off, I spent a lot of time studying. So I have two online schools to compare. And the first thing about WG that I really like is every test is proctored live, either by Examity or Pearson View. This means you have to know your stuff. My first school, you could open book it, whatever, you didn't need to know it, do your homework assignments, nothing to it. WGU, you gotta know it. You're getting certifications while you go through the program. Um, you have to study, you have to know it. Uh, speaking of certifications, another thing I liked about WGU is you get a handful of them. So first one I think is ITIL Foundations, which is just kind of an introductory IT certification. I don't see very much use coming from it, but it's part of a class. Um, after that, you have your CompTIA A+, your Net+, your Security+, Project+, SISA+, and towards the end of the program is your Pentest+. Plus. Uh, along with that, you'll also get your SSCP from ISC squared. Uh, you will be an associate, but when you finish the bachelor's, you actually become, you can put the SSCP behind your name. There's also a cloud course for the CCSP by ISC squared. And when you finish that class, you don't actually get the certification, but you do get a voucher to go get the certification and, and take that test. Uh, obviously, I think it's great to get certifications while going through the program. Uh, it kind of kills two birds with one stone. Other thing I really liked, you can work at your own pace. Uh, if you know all the if you know all the material for the class, you can enroll and test out as soon as you can take the exam, uh, which I did with a, a, quite a few courses, which was really nice. So if you're in the industry already and you know a lot of the stuff, you can bust through 20 courses your first semester because you know so much. Uh, I think my best one semester, I finished 11 classes. Um, and I, I don't work in the industry. I'm a blackjack dealer at a casino. So this is coming from someone outside of IT, outside of cybersecurity. Other thing I really liked about WGU is they assign you to a mentor uh, right away. And this is someone who will stick with you through the entire program. And you will talk to every week in the first term and after that, every two weeks. Um, my mentor works for an aerospace company in Colorado uh, in DevSecOps. And he was also a Green Beret. He was a great dude. Uh, really guided me through the program, very encouraging, very supportive. Um, along with that, for each class you have an instructor, and this instructor you can set up video conferences with, emails, phone calls. Not something I use a lot, I, I'm more of a self-study, I don't like scheduling things, I like to uh, just use the tools provided um, when I can. Which is another thing I really like. Uh, with WGU, you have access to all the CompTIA materials, study materials. Uh, Udemy, LinkedIn Learning, Pluralsight, all things you can use. And you can actually use those for the lifetime as an alumni. So for me personally, I love Udemy. I used all Jason Dion's courses for the CompTIA stuff. And as an amateur aspiring uh, solo game dev, I can even access all the, the courses for that. Pretty much anything on Udemy, I can enroll for free for the rest of my life. So that's a huge plus. Um, the cost of the school is about 4,800 a semester. It did go up a little bit to that. Uh, I think my first semester was like 4,400. Uh, my work paid for about 75% of it, which was really nice, and I paid for the rest. Uh, obviously, with today's schools being so expensive, and student loans being so predatory and so expensive and, and just life-sucking, uh, I think this is a great, uh, great way to get a bachelor's degree for an affordable price, especially if you're hammering it out. So lots of good things to say about the school there. 
uh, the one con that I have about the program, and this is at no fault of WGU, is because it's work at your own pace and you're paying for a flat rate for a semester, as many courses as you can do, you are trying to get done with each class as fast as you can. And as soon as you know the bare minimum to pass the exam, you're gonna take it and move on to the next course without giving it a second thought. So as soon as I was ready for the A+, like maybe you're gonna pass, I'll take the test, boom, pass, move on. So it's more of a sprint than really trying to understand everything and put it into practice. Um, that's, that's, again, not at WGU's fault, that's, that's at my own fault, it's my own personality, I'm trying to save as much money as I can, finish as fast as I can uh, to get the degree. So one thing I recommend is while doing the program or aside from the program, you can do it alternatively is to do, you can do Try Hack Me, I did that a lot. The Hack the Box Academy, you get a student discount. Um, I'm doing a lot of those right now. I'm going back, I'm refreshing as I get ready to do interviews and um, look for jobs, which I'm being very picky with because my schedule with my daughter and her mother are very tight. Um, but I'm making sure I know a lot of the pen testing stuff, sock analyst stuff, and these try hack me and hack the box are $10 a month. They're not very much money and they're so valuable. You get virtual machines on there to do all these, these practice uh, examples with. Uh, I'm also focusing on bug bounty stuff with Hacker One and Hacker 101's uh, CTFs for practice. I think there's another great um, tool to use. Uh, now that I'm done with school, I can take that time and go back. During the program, you feel like you can't take a break because if you take a night, a couple nights off, you feel like you just, you're falling behind and you're, you're costing yourself money. So all in all, um, I've never been a huge proponent of school for the most part. Obviously there's professions where you will want a degree, bachelor's degree, master's degree, PhD. I don't think cybersecurity and IT is one of them, although it does not hurt at all, especially if you have a company that will help pay for it, scholarships, uh, grant money you can access. Um, at that case, I think WGU is an excellent choice, um, but obviously you don't have to do that. You can probably learn more and be even smarter than uh, a WGU student by doing these try hack me hack the box modules, building virtual machines at home and, and learning online. And there's so much on YouTube and so many resources everywhere these days. You can learn it all and, and build out a resume that way. So you really have a couple of choices, but um, if you decide to go to school and it's something you wanna do online, again, I'm 32, full-time job. I got a two-year-old I'm raising and I hammered it out and I got it done. And now I can go try to break into the industry. So that's that. Um, this my YouTube channel is going to be talking about cybersecurity topics, um, not to help, not just to help other people learn, but to also help myself learn in depth to be able to explain to other people about certain topics. On the other half of this channel, I will be doing solo game dev um, and kind of follow my journey over there. Uh, please like, subscribe to the video, leave any comments about things you want to learn about or any questions you have about the program. I'm happy to answer. Appreciate it.